Hey, welcome back. Joining us now is Lauren Weedman, an actress, comedian, author, and playwright who actually started her career in Seattle. She's back in the Emerald City this weekend with a brand new show. And I'm so excited because I'm a really big fan. Lauren was a regular on Seattle sketch comedy TV show, Almost Alive, and has worked extensively in film and TV. Most recently, of course, roles on HBO's Euphoria, Hacks, and the award-winning Abbott Elementary, one of my favorite shows there. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yay. Thank you for having me. How about oh. that intro? I love that <laughs> intro. I got super excited about myself. Yeah, yeah you, was you're like, great. Oh, yeah, you should. Sure. I'm doing yeah. so well. <laughs> so you have a new show called Lauren Weedman Blows. What a title! Tell great. me about it. I know, well, the title is. Um, well, I do have a sinus infection, so that's a little part of it. Oh, fun. Um, but I, I didn't title it when I knew I had yeah. it. Um, that won't affect the show, by the way. I just want to say that, that I can perform. In fact, I'm better when I have some kind of infection. I'm fighting because it makes me so more rowdy. Yeah. Um, the book, you know, I name shows before I know what it's going to be about. Uh, like, so often it's just like, well, that's a great word. They can mean all sorts of things, right? right so I'll, yeah. I'll just leave it there and, and let, <laughs> let whoever you know is uh, looking at the show come up with their own meaning that they want from it. You know? I like it. Yeah. I feel like that carries over into kind of like the content of the show too because 75% of it is scripted. What's going on with the other 25%? I would say 75 seems high. Oh, okay. um, I, I don't know the exact percentage. We haven't really, you know, broke it down, but it's a lot of improv. It's a lot of just to make it to me that seems more fun, you know, mm -hmm. to be a little terrified on stage um, <laughs> if it's, uh, it just, and to keep it more present. And I want to be able to discover stuff with the audience. And so that seems fun to me. Um, and I, uh, I mean, it, it's kind of, it's not a, you know, to watch a rehearsal but I am working out material on stage live with you know that just seems yeah. I love it that's one of my favorite parts about going to an improv show too because you're like I'm never gonna see the same show again right like yeah. no one else is getting to see yes. this it's so special and you can feel it I feel it. you know what I mean like yeah. you can tell when people are I don't know there's just something there's an energy to it when you know that it's happening right now yeah. like it's not somebody I'm here reciting what I'm supposed to be you right. know you can yeah. kind of, I don't know I, I prefer it that it is as very well. exciting yeah. now you started your career <clears throat> in Seattle you've had some wonderful success what what was that process like the process of having all my success <laughs> Okay. Starting here and oh, then being just, a real winner. Oh, I just got on that freeway and just went. Um, no, I, um, Seattle is, to me, I, I, I always, I think I'm from Seattle, but I'm not. Um, I'm so, I don't really think that. I'm not mentally ill in that way, but I'm from Indiana. But I started off here, and there's something about the support of the audiences here mm -hmm. and the smarts of the audiences. Not that they're dumb everywhere else, but, um, but there's something... I just have always felt like uh, that people got me here and that they are, there's a progressiveness and also a, a, a love of the theater or going to see shows for the sake of shows, you know, sake of theater or whatever. And it gave me a, a confidence. It's been so long since I lived here, but I still feel like all that I've done has come so much from the support of like, it's like having coming from a good family yeah. that believed in you and that, you know, made you feel like you were, had something to say, you know, and that you were worth something. It didn't, they didn't hate women like some, like right. some cities. Oh, yeah. not all cities. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I don't need to get You're into that. You're bringing the improv to Studio 13 Live. Yeah. Right at this yes. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it seems too, too negative. Yeah. When you mean... come back to Seattle, what are the things you notice now when you're looking around and like, how does it feel to be back here? There were moments, and I don't have it as much anymore, but there were moments where I, where I'm like, am, am I in Fremont? Like, I can't tell. Like, there's no, Why? I can't see the land. Sometimes the, the you know, everything changes. Yeah. Um, and and uh, going downtown, I, I, what's that thing with the, where it's like these globes, it looks like yeah. a greenhouse the sort Amazon of like. Oh, yeah, the spheres. Yeah, yeah the spheres. Yeah. Like, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, the, are you allowed in there? You or? can go there on Saturdays, but it's, I've been trying to make a reservation. It's very difficult to get in. You oh. can make a reservation, but they're never available. Oh, I'll get yeah. in. Yeah. I'll yeah. get yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. You're VIP. You're, you're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going twice on Saturday. You guys can come. Have your assistant call. Um, I totally. No, um, but I, that kind of stuff I think is exciting. I don't know what it really means. I'm, hopefully, I'm, hopefully, I'm not mentioning something like, oh, that. You know that yeah. was an indigenous land, Lauren. Don't you know what happened here? <laughs> yeah. so I don't mean to. I don't want to support something I should. But I there's. I think it's exciting how it's changing. I'm mm -hmm. all for the. But I also know that a lot of my Seattle friends are like, you know, you should see what's happening, and like you can't drive down. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but I'm. I'm still. Um, I. It still feels every time I fly into Seattle. It's the only city I ever. Every time I fly in, I feel emotional about how much I love it and how beautiful it is. Oh. It's always beautiful when it you is. fly in. Isn't it's like it? being like dropped into a forest. It, it, oh, 
beautiful forest. Yeah, yeah, we love, like that. We love that you love that us. Is, yeah. It's true. That's it's not so fake, too. I'm not good <laughs> at, the, at the, the fake thing. Well, I'm a little good at it because I live in L.A. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do act. Yeah, yeah. I do. It's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. And she yeah. makes us laugh. Lauren Meadman, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely. So we have all the details about Lauren's show in Seattle this weekend up on uh, fox13seattle.com slash studio 13 live. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. Come see us next time you're in town, okay. too. Yeah. We'll so talk about cameras. all the things. I yeah. feel like we still have so much to talk about. <laughs>